Okay, my name is Sharka Sukhorova and I'm from the Czech Technical University in Prague. So, these days we have amazing 3D animated movies like Finding Dory, Zootopia, Book Strolls, and Disney, Pixar, um, DreamWorks. And we kind of seem to like art in the movies. I mean, the real author, peculiar, unique style in the movies. I mean, despite the beautiful visuals of 3D animated movies, they all seem to look the same. But can you imagine the amount of work for an artist to paint a whole movie in their own style? So, in the Czech Technical University, we, de we designed a tool called Stylet, and it is a tool for artistic stylization of any 3D renders. It means that you can stylize your render, and all you have to paint is a sphere, and then you just apply the style of the sphere on your renders. I mean, anybody can paint a sphere, right? So you don't have to be really an artist to produce a movie. Um, there are other, other tools dealing with this, but they're mostly based on color and normals in the scene. But Stylet is based on light propagation in the scene and global illumination. So it uses channels of multipass rendering and as a guidance for texture synthesis. And I will be showing you a plugin that integrates Stylet into Photoshop. So it enables artists to work on multiple layers, being t able to modify them separately and use any number of channels they like. And not only that you can stylize your 3D renders, you can also steal uh, the art style of, for example, Van Gogh and apply it to your 3D renders. Uh, I would like to thank all the organizers for organizing this event. Uh, we develop uh, visual tools for artists and uh, designers. Uh, flame painter, uh, you can uh, you can uh, create uh, organic brush strokes in this program and light effects. Um, the next program we develop is uh, Amber Light, uh, which uh, is a fractal-like renderer uh, for still images and animations. And uh, our newest software, Rebel, is a realistic watercolor simulation uh, where your brush strokes uh, drip and blend and diffuse like uh, on a real paper with real watercolors. Uh, so uh, I would like to invite you all to our booth at the expo where you can try all these tools yourself. And we will also give a, a workshop later today uh, where we will dive more into our tools and their development. Um, so, uh, also, I was hoping to find here someone who is uh, experienced with the Halide uh, optimization toolkit. So if there is such a person here, please come to me later. I would like just to ask a few questions. And we are also looking for new team members. Uh, we are a small team of eight people. We're located 40 minutes from here in a beautiful spa town, Piešťany. Um, <laughs> We like playing volleyball. <laughs> uh, so if you would be interested in uh, learning more about our work and work with our team, please uh, come to us, to our booth. Thank you. Uh, um, hello, my name is Pavel Sovich and I am the co-founder of Factory. Uh, Vectory is a 3D online modeling platform where you can easily create, share, and customize uh, any kind of models. I believe that um, at this moment uh, we stand on the brink of a 3D revolution. It has somehow uh, suddenly all clicked together if you consider on all that's happening in uh, virtual reality, uh, 3D printing, or in games industry. And um, all these fields have uh, one thing in uh, common, and that is uh, they are all going to need a lot of content. And um, as of today, we only see professional tools for professional users, and there is absolutely no way for non-professionals for non -professionals to actually start 3D modeling. Um, <clears throat> and the need to create content will only keep growing. We are actually strong believers that in 10 years' time, uh, 3D modeling will become something that is completely natural, just like uh, writing a document is. And uh, Vectory wants to be a catalyst of this movement, and for the first time in history, we would like to see non-professionals actually start 3D modeling. That brings me to what Vectory actually is, and that is Google Docs for 3D modeling. 
Uh, to achieve this, we need to remove all the barriers that usual users might have with 3D modeling. And therefore, we are online completely in the browser, so the user don't need to install anything. Uh, we're free, so they don't have to pay. And we're completely in the cloud, so by the time you create something, you can instantly share it with others. In order to be successful, we need to be great in performance, and we need to be the best in uh, user experience. And this gets even more interesting if you consider that Vectory only exists within the browser. Uh, we're a team of about 25 people. Uh, we have something more than uh, 20,000 uh, customers, and uh, we are seeking to uh, grow our team. So uh, pay us a visit at our booth. Thank you very much. Okay, hi everybody. So as the name says, Photoneo, we do new, new things, which means what we do today is we make uh, 3D scanners. We sell them to industry. It's based on a new method, which is something between time of flight and structured light. Um, so uh, we sell them to automotive suppliers. So we scan an object, we scan a box, and then robot can start speaking automatically. So there's a lot of uh, 3D vision involved, a lot of computing. So if anybody is interested in working in such an area, just please join, uh, contact me. Also come and see our, uh, our booth. Um, but this is just what we do today. We plan a lot more. And basically the way the company was uh, uh, started or founded was based on a patent. And we're going to have our own chip uh, in this summer, which means that for the first time you have, a sl I think one of the first times, you have a Slovak company creating custom hardware, custom image sensors. So, um, um, then basically the options are, are, are limitless because we can start having moving cameras and moving objects and basically create 3D uh, video. So um, then we can start going into uh, VR. Actually, we're, we're a bigger believer of augmented reality rather than virtual reality. So if this is, this is something which interests you, please just join me, we'll have a chat and we can talk a bit about this. Um, our future is to give robots eyes, but also the visual cortex and the intelligence to do things which for us are easy, but for which for robots are really, really hard. Thank you. Well, we're, we are uh, in this category, uh, which is uh, kind of something what we do, but uh, not quite all of it. Uh, my name is Andre, I'm from Figurama, and we're building a 3D media platform where we help 3D artists to make and market uh, 3D AR and VR products. So we're kind of building a new storytelling medium for artists. This is our team currently, we're partially a visionary and partially an experienced business management guy, me and my father. and. Uh, we're part of the 3D content creation market for some time. Uh, we have built apps and games, also uh, a 3D scanning and motion capture studio. And we were facing a problem as a content producers is that every time we want to deliver our content, we need to package it into new software. And that makes it more expensive and harder to deliver and harder to sell. Um, that's why also 3D content known from films and games, which is being produced by artists as part of bigger production environments, mm, is being uh, finished by companies with sufficient resources and mm, packaged into the final product. So artists are selling their work to just a handful of companies who can uh, actually make the final product. And uh, not many artists can join the show. That's why we created a new 3D storytelling medium which we call 3D comics, which is based on interactive texts and 3D models and allows artists to produce, publish, and monetize their own vision without uh, building any 3D AR and VR software. So this content is then made available on our app. So if you want to talk about how we can uh, cooperate and how, what this means for you as a 3D artist or a 3D programmer, we can meet at our booth. Thank you. So 
So hello, my name is Michal Jančušek, and I'm from Capturing Reality. Uh, yeah, this is our software. It's called Reality Capture, and it, uh, it is uh, all-in-one photogrammetry software solution. Well, it can extract beautiful and accurate 3D models from a set of ordinary images and or laser scans. And furthermore, our software is uh, the only one that can process images and uh, laser scans together automatically. So our software was released only three, three, 13 months ago, and we have immediately encountered very positive feedback. We already have customers all around the world, and uh, as you can see, our product speaks for itself. It is already being considered as a game changer in photogrammetry software solutions. Uh, so we have a booth here at the expo. So if you want to know more, just come to our booth and, and talk to us. And we, uh, you can also, also join our workshop um, and you can try our software there. And we are also hiring, so if you are too interested to uh, work in our company, you can talk to us and uh, yeah, become a member of Capturing Reality. Hello, I'm Matthias. I'm from Lost in the Garden, and we're work we're a team of four, and we're working on our first game. It's called Lightfield. I hope we're gonna see a video of it. Um, so basically, it's a flying racing game. Yes, we already have H ratings. Um, it's a flying racing game for Xbox and PlayStation. Um, we developed it over a time of two years with four people, and I'm here because I'm giving a workshop to more up this afternoon and if you want to join I'm gonna talk a little bit how we founded the company, why we founded the company and how we survived. And so I, I don't need anything from you. I'm just here to answer your questions if you want to go into games and are interested how to survive as a starving indie. So this is more or less it. Thank you. Wow. Okay, really great game. So, my name is uh, Marian Ferko, and uh, I'm a game developer, and uh, let me introduce uh, Bohemia Interactive. Uh, Bohemia Interactive was founded in 1999, so it's a pretty old company. It's mainly focused on uh, military simulations, games. During the time, the company did more than uh, 30 games, yes, also Pat and Matt game. And uh, we have a lot of offices in many locations from Prague to Thailand with a lot of uh, talents inside. And here you can see a few screenshots from our last military sim simulation game, Arma 3, Tanoa, still without any zombies. And here you can see the Arma development team, and behind them you can see the tank T-72, the real, real tank company bought from Czech Army, so guys can drive once a year with, with the tank. Here you can see the simulation game Take on Mars, when you can drive with uh, rovers and explore Mars, uh, build colonies, uh, simulate life on Mars, uh, work uh, on ice, ICs, and so on, but still without zombies. Here you can see our game Daisy, a game without any rules. Uh, the terrain is more than 300 square kilometers big with a lot of zombies. And um, we are creating a new uh, game engine called Enfusion. Inside the company we have also Bohemia Incubator where we can support new game ideas. And if you want to see 
uh, more zombies, please visit our stand. <laughs> Hello, my name is Katharina Grösel and I'm the technical artist at Black Cell. We are a small virtual reality game development studio based in Vienna and we've been founded in May 2016. Um, our team is constantly growing, we are currently 10 people. Our mission is to take adventure games to virtual reality. We are not interested in shooters, everyone is doing shooters. Um, we think that developing for VR is kind of awesome, but it's not as awesome all the time as you might think, especially if you have to test a roller coaster that's still in development. <laughs> so this is our roller coaster. Uh, it's called Thrills and Chills. We developed it together with Frisch, and it is currently available on Steam. Um, we, we are also doing a project in cooperation with the Children's Hospital and the Medical University of Vienna. We are developing a VR tool for the diagnosis and treatment of children who suffer from ADHD. And our newest project is called Kaigo, an origami tale. It's still top secret, so it will be announced this year. And Wake Up is the first game we developed. We released it in August last year. And it's a puzzle game. And it is available for free on Steam, but you can also try it at our booth. So um, we appreciate the opportunities like the Czech, the Czech Expo to, um, to talk to people and find out what they like uh, about VR and what they think is cool. So, Please come by our booth, check out our game, and talk to me. Hello, so my name is Tobias, and I'm here representing Cellview. So Cellview is not really a company, but a project made by Theo Wien. So about 60 years ago, in 1953, Watson and Crick basically discovered the structure of DNA. And they said they were only able to do so because they've built a physical model of it, which they could look at and investigate. And we're doing something similar, not exactly the same. But today, actually, scientists use DNA to build tiny robots, and they want to use these robots to attack cancer cells. And they need interactive visualizations for this. And this is basically what we are doing. So usually, biologists want to communicate the data and then I go to animators and they need to tell them all the knowledge and they will create a visualization like this for them in a couple of weeks. And with Cellview, you can take this scientific data and create this animation basically directly. Um, so we are currently having a couple of research projects with the AIT and Institute of Cell Science and the Scripps Research Institute, but we're looking for new collaborations and for students. So if you're interested, pay us a visit. You can use our tool basically in virtual reality, of course. Thank you. Yeah, hello, I'm Markus from the rendering group at TU Wien. And one of the projects we're currently working on is a point cloud view and virtual reality. So um, I think we got one virtual reality booth in each of the rooms out there, which is kind of awesome. Um, yeah, the idea here is that uh, when you ran, uh, scan the real world in 3D, the first thing that you usually get is a point cloud. And those point clouds usually tend to consist of a whole lot of points. So this one here, for example, it's 24 million points, and that's already way too much to render in real time on a GPU. So we're working on uh, developing new algorithms and improving existing algorithms to be able to view those kind of data sets in real time in virtual reality. And uh, yeah, if you stop by later, this is one of the data sets that we've got prepared and we've all also got uh, a few others like a uh, point cloud of a uh, small area in California which consists of a few hundred million points and um, a point cloud of a quarry, uh, it will show up right away. And another point cloud of the Matterhorn in Switzerland. So the point cloud of the Matterhorn, for example, it's being taken by 
Taking a drone, uh, the drone flies over the region, takes pictures, and some photogrammetry software creates the point cloud out of it. And the, this point cloud of the Matterhorn consists of 270 million points. So again, that's too much to render in real time, even not in VR. And in VR, we need even higher performance and higher quality. So yeah, that's what we're working on. And uh, if you're interested, stop by later. Thanks. <laughs>
And we are here to find some creative, young, smart people who would like to join our team. And uh, you can join also our, our workshop uh, after. And uh, we are, you will find us on the top of this castle. So thank you very much. Just still, still you can watch the video.